showing off the talents of artists from across Macomb County and Metro Detroit. The Anton Art Center in Mount Clemens is opening up its annual Artist Choice Member Show happening tomorrow. And joining us now with a live preview of the show is Executive Director Phil Gilcrest. Thank you so much for being here with us, Phil. Thank you for having me. So for people that may not have gone in the past, tell us a little bit about this show. Sure. This is an annual exhibit that we host in cooperation with a number of local arts clubs, including the Mount Clements Art Association, the Lakeside Palette Club of St. Clair Shores, Warren Tri-County Fine Arts, and the Romeo Guild of Art. The exhibit is open to members of those groups to submit. Um, they can submit up to two, I think it was up to two entries. Um, and the show was juried by another local artist named Linda Allen. Uh, so we have 40 total works that were accepted into the exhibit, um, and it's a really exciting show. There's always some really good work that comes from these local artists, and we're happy to have these opportunities to share it with the community. Uh, we'll be opening it tomorrow, actually, with a virtual awards ceremony. I'm sure you were, you were going to ask about that, I bet. <laughs> Yeah, you know, and I, I love that it's virtual, that people can still get involved. Now, you were just saying that there's it's a juried uh, show. Tell me a little bit about that. Yes, um, what that means in a nutshell is that uh, we worked with the groups to select another artist who would review all of the entries received and make the selections about which work is included in the exhibit, but also to make some selections for awards. We do have some cash prizes for the first, second, and third place award-winning works in the show, uh, as well as I think three honorable mention artworks uh, that have all been selected. Uh, any particular artists that we might know about that's going to be a part of the show? Um, you know, there are some local artists who, who are fairly well known in the community. I know um, we've got artists like Jan Filarski, uh, who has shown here on a regular basis as a member of the Romeo Guild of Art. Um, Barb Clay is another one. Um, we, You know, there's a really wide ranging group of artists that belong to these clubs. And it's always an exciting opportunity to um, give them a chance to share their work uh, here in a really professional level gallery setting. Now, you just mentioned already that the virtual award announcement is going to be held virtually. That's going to be on Facebook Live, correct? That is correct at 2 p.m. tomorrow. And folks can tune in by going right to our Facebook page. And who should come see the show, I guess, in person? Anybody who's comfortable going out in person. Um, the, the Art Center, the Anton Art Center, is open five days a week currently from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. And admission is always free. Um, we really encourage anybody who might be interested in art or seeing some art to come and see the show. Um, if people would rather not come out in person, we are having this exhibit mounted on our website also as a, a companion virtual exhibit. So folks can still see the artworks that are included in the show from the comfort of their own home. And this is free to attend, so that is great that people can get on the action for free. Now, how can we buy a piece of maybe some of the items that are going to be in the gallery? Yes, most of the work that's included in the exhibit is for sale. Um, works may be purchased in person here at the Anton Art Center, or if you see a work on our website and you're interested in purchasing, a, uh, purchasing it, you can call our office at 586-469-8666. All right, looking forward to that big show tomorrow. We'll have more information on our website, WXYZ.com. Phil Gilcrest, Executive Director of the Anton Art Center. Thank you so much for being here with us this morning. Thank you again.